blew my mind. It's so gone. Beauties. Uh, beauties <laughs> is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Hey, I get to learn how to aim, or is it just gonna be like, shoot this one, shoot that one? Oh shit, I actually get to aim. Master at shooting objects on the screen. Oh. Yeah, I think wow, so. Nice shooting tits. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I, I play a lot of Call of Duty. It's a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't uh, think so, girl. I mean, I had lots of time to aim right there, so. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Ah, I'll shoot Mr. Squirrel. Oh, no, wait, that was her friend, wasn't it? Nah, I'm not going to shoot the squirrel. Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> she likes the squirrel, so. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. <laughs> Butterfly effect. No. All decisions are final. Now I'm Chris. Yeah, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Back. Yeah. Man, the door's right here. Door's locked. Yeah. You already tried it. How do you not know? To keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. For you? Oh, real gentleman. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bought a mountain. <laughs> huh? I don't see anything. Closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Hey, is that the thing coming? Sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Is it here? I think it's here. Finally. You coming? Uh, I was gonna stay here and catch the disease, but okay. Did I lock the door? Alright, I'm guessing it's locked. Alright, I just wanted to make sure. I'm just like going to the prom. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, that's part of this one, so. I'm about to be jumping into the next one. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? Yeah. You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. 
it's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. <laughs> I'm trying to keep rings it up. Meet and greet. Alright. 